All right, peace to you, man. How are you? <clears throat> Excuse me. So today I just want to make this quick video while I'm outside. I'm walking. It's a beautiful night. Not too cold. A little bit crisp, but the weather is certainly tolerable. I mean, I'm not dressed too heavily. But I just want to talk about something I've learned. And, you know, it's not something I've done always in my videos, but I've learned it now. And uh, the, the mark of a man, I guess, is, is to continually try his best to improve himself and to elevate his standards and you know day and night i pray to god i ask him to elevate my standard and make me wiser make me more intelligent make me smarter just make me a better man each and every single day to not make me too proud to receive correction and if i've ever given a different example in my videos and i truly apologize and i ask god for forgiveness as well and i ask you guys for forgiveness too but i realize today more than ever how important it is for a man to have calmness 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 for a man to be calm. Oh, wow. by the way, you can see that moon behind me. Praise the Most High for that. Praise the one true Almighty God. Beautiful. The stars are perfectly clear tonight. But anyways, as I was saying, it's so important for a man to remain calm. And naturally, uh, it's um, naturally, I think I've been speaking, generally speaking, I've been a calm person. I've been somebody who I try my best to reason with people. I try my best to understand where somebody's coming from. I'm naturally an empathetic and sympathetic person. Um, I've always hated that. I've always had to battle with insecurity for that. I've never been somebody who just gets angry and rah-rah, tries to fight with people, always tries to assert my dominance. And I've always hated that about myself as well. I thought of myself as a coward for that. And a, a lot of stuff that we see in this like red pill, quote unquote, red pill, manosphere side of the internet, they'll, they'll make you think otherwise. And this goes back to the rap culture as well, that somebody who's hyper aggressive. And, and I'm not saying, you know, don't, don't be a coward. Like, you know, if somebody does wrong to you, speak up, but speak up calmly, speak up kindly and speak a just and fitting and gentle word. And it doesn't add any more truth to your statements by yelling and screaming and cussing at somebody. It doesn't. It doesn't. That's feigned and, and pretended masculinity. That's not true masculinity. And I've learned the value of that. I've learned the value of calmness, especially as I reflected upon experiences in my life. And like I said, I've always hated the fact that I'm like this, but, but thinking about it now, thinking about how my life has been getting a lot better when I speak to people calmly. And I, I battle with insecurities as well. Like even, you know, throughout high school, I would resent that part of myself. And I, I would try to feign and pretend masculinity, be overly aggressive with people, get angry with people because I thought that was me asserting my dominance. But that's not, that's not, that's not. And it, it, there's a beautiful quote I heard and it's so true. It's so true. I'm going to butcher it. And it's basically that the man who, who fears God, the man who loves God, and I'm modifying it as well, but the man who fears God, the man who loves God, the Muslim, the Muslim man, he is too busy. He is too busy praising God and his mouth is too uh, busy being filled with the praises and the love towards the Most High to be talking crap and talking a bunch of nonsense to people and just like insulting and hurling all these bad words. And that's really really true i really believe in that the true muslim man his mouth is filled with beautiful things the quran says to speak a gentle word the quran says as well that uh the the worst most loathsome noise in the eyes of god is the sound of a donkey and he god brings that analogy or makes that analogy to men who sound like donkeys because oh wow that person just straight cut me off okay gotta be careful out here but Anyways, as I was saying, you see, I could have cussed that guy out, but I decided to just walk it off. But like, you know, the, like I was saying, God, he, he makes a comparison of a donkey's noises. He's just like uh, cawing and, and honking to a man who, who speaks loudly. God continually asks to speak kindly, speak gently, speak softly. And that is the true manly and masculine way. When that anger rises up in you, when you get, doesn't mean you don't, doesn't mean you love everybody, doesn't mean you uh, compromise, but when that anger rises up in you to temper that anger, to temper and to calm yourself down, to be relaxed, and just, uh, th that is where true wisdom comes from. That is, I think, a big mark of a man, is how he is able to temper and to control his anger when it rises up within him. And it'll make people listen to you more, it'll make people understand you more, it'll make people respect you more, and it'll also give your enemies less against you as well. The, if you just don't do that rah, 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 just question them, see where they're coming from, hold your ground, but be respectable, kind, good. That 
that is the way for a man to be. It saves you from trouble as well. It really saves you from trouble. We have to cauterize that ego. Man's greatest battle, ladies and gentlemen, is with his ego. It's with himself. You know, you want to, when, when you're angry in a moment, you want to prove your manliness and your masculinity. Oh, you know, I'm not a pussy. I'm not a scared little girl. I'm going to show this person. I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to yell at him. I'm just going to cuss him out in front of everybody. No, 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 no. If you knock that dude out, it might impress the stupid sheeple around you. If you cuss that dude out, you people might be like, oh, wow, you dissed him. You burned him so hard. Ooh. But do you want to impress the silly sheeple? Do you want to fuel your ego? Do you want to really be a man? Do you want to really be a man and calm yourself, respectively? And just, just, just be good. Be good and be wise. And to control your anger, to not be like an emotional little girl just throwing these temper tantrums. Which one do you want to be? Do you want to impress a sheep? Or do you want to be a true man? Do you, do you want to impress a sheep or do you want to impress God? Do you want to make God pleased with you? And also, um, the, the truly wise people who have a good head on their shoulders, who are not seeking drama, they're also going to be impressed with you as well. They're going to be like, wow, this guy is really wise, you know. He, he controlled his anger in that situation. Speak kindly, speak gently. I've learned the value of that. Whenever you can, whenever you can. Uh, at raising the volume... Provided you're not being cut off, like sometimes you got to raise your voice just to be heard by somebody. But like, if you're speaking, if you ha if it's your turn to speak, raising your volume and adding in expletives does not add any more truth or force to what you're saying. No, it sullies and dirties the message. But yeah, man, that's really all I got to say on the matter. It's uh, this is a lesson that I've learned. I've really learned, and it's something I continually try to improve on. Uh, I, I learn more and more and more every single day. I already know that the Quran is true, ladies and gentlemen. I know that it's the word of God. And everything that it calls man to is wisdom. Wisdom, wise, good for him. It saves him from trouble. But not only that, not only do I, I, I know that for in my heart, I'm learning more about that. Excuse me, as my life goes by. I'm learning more about that through my experience. How true the Quran is. When the Quran calls man to speak gentleness and kindness, that it is not calling man to be less of a man. No, it's actually calling man to step up to his game, step to the platform, and be more masculine and more based and more manly. That is what it's doing. When a man can control his emotions, he, he, he's, he's exercising his masculinity in that moment. And when he can handle things logically. But... Anyways, man, that's really all I got to say on the matter. I hope this talk was a blessing. And yeah, peace to you. Remember, the seat abounds, so keep your eyes wide open. Peace out. Assalamu alaikum, men. My name is Walid Naeem, and I have dedicated my entire life towards spreading the truth about the words of God. And I don't know about you, but personally, I have grown sick and tired of all these mainstream religions, and specifically the mosques, which have utterly failed us. I'm fed up with them placing the words of man, specifically their fabricated hadiths, at a higher authority than God's holy scriptures, their lack of knowledge about conspiracy facts and real politic, and their complete ignorance of the true nature of our earth. I've had enough of their compromise, their weakness, their lame sermons which put people to sleep, their virtue signaling, their fear of facing any real persecution, and their willingness to let the quote-unquote secular atheist utterly trample over them. The atheists own all of the educational boards and teach their propaganda to every so-called Muslim and quote-unquote non-Muslim child here in the West. And now with the Toyota Corolla hoax, the atheists has successfully broken apart our communities and made us utter slaves to their government. Our so-called quote-unquote Muslim sons are a bunch of wannabe hood rat gangsters who vape, drink, smoke weed, and party like animals. And our so-called quote-unquote Muslim daughters are not much different. They have no interest in hearing about the word of God. They are all too busy YOLOing. This has all happened while the imams have been living very comfortably off of the hard-earned money of their community members in the donation bins. As stated before, I personally am completely fed up with this. The mosques have had all of the support, funding, enfranchisement, and time of our communities, and have produced absolutely nothing. The atheist has made the so-called quote-unquote Muslim man his bitch. He has steamrolled him in every way possible. That is why I created Eyes Wide Open. This channel exists as a call to action for all of those strong believing men who trust in their Lord fully and refuse to compromise the Qur'an. 
It is time the true sons of Adam and the inheritors of the tremendous tradition, in other words, the true Quranic Muslims, to set up something for themselves and fearlessly stand up against the madness that is going on in the world. What you see with my channel right now is only the beginning. These short videos I make in my car are all that I have time for right now, working a full-time job. I scribble these together while at work and make these videos while running errands. But you ain't seen nothing yet. If God should will, I have so much more in store for Eyes Wide Open. I want this to be a platform for the believers. Just a couple of things I have planned for this channel is, firstly, creating scholarly books, documentaries, and essays to arm you guys with the intellectual firepower for dealing with all of our enemies. Secondly, I would like Eyes Wide Open to be a center for heavy activism, public and street preaching, going to city hall, organizing protests, knocking doors, going to baseball, hockey, soccer, basketball, and other major sporting events and preaching to the people leaving the stadium, going to the totally failed mosques, synagogues, and churches and debating with their religious leaders, going to universities and debating the quote-unquote secular professors on their laughable so-called science, and much more. It's time the believers start to fight back and shake the cage of this disgusting system. My goal is to create a base for the believers. I want people to know of our name, that there are dedicated, zealous, and studious men who do not compromise the word of God, and we are ready to take action. If we keep waiting for our mosque to do something about the real problems of this world, then we will be waiting until Judgment Day. We need to create something now, from the ground up. With that being said, may God bless us in all of our endeavors and guide us every step of the way. If this sounds like something you are interested in, and if you want to be a part of the movement, then you can help me out. My Patreon and PayPal are linked in the description of every video. And, God willing, if enough generous believers decide to fund this platform, then I can quit my full-time job and look for something part-time, or, even better than that, leave employment completely, which will give me more hours in the day to do this work. I do not care to be rich. All of that stuff is vanity anyways. But the fact of the matter is, my wife and I need to eat and have a roof over our heads. So, if you wish to support the cause, then I thank you sincerely for that and promise to fight with might and main in the cause of God for the believers. If you are not able to, hey, then I totally understand. Find somebody else who needs that money and give it to them. Give it out of fear of your Lord and in dread of that great and terrible day which is coming to all of us. For all of the believers out there, the brothers and sisters who follow hard upon the truth, all I can say is much love to each and every one of you. May God reward you in this life and the hereafter. Praise goes to God alone. Assalamu alaikum everybody. Peace.